creatives welcome to another interesting online tutorial my name is Adjela and today I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful um, crinoline base fascinator and these are the items I'll be needing for this design and I have my crinoline right here and this crinoline is six inches wide okay and I have two yards right here I also have my foam flower for my embellishment I have my bias strip I have my um, thread and my hand sewing needle right here and i have my piece of doll face fabric you can just make do with uh, half yard okay and i have my elastic you can use this to replace your alice band and also the other thin elastic band okay because i'm going to be inserting this elastic band into the fabric and i also have my scissors right here so quickly let's get started Welcome back dear creative. So what I'm going to do now is to tape my crinoline using my bias strip. Okay, I'm going to start from this free end right here. And the part I'm going to be using the bias on is going to be the other part that is small. Okay, if you notice we have two parts right here. This one has a kind of long thread right here for pulling. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to be doing putting the bias on this other side right here. And I'm going to be starting from this edge so I can lock in this fray right here. And as you can see, the bias is folded and I'm going to be opening it up. Because by the time you want to do it this way, it might be too thin. You can also work with it, but in this case, I'm going to be opening it up. So I'm just going to start from this edge right here. And then I'm going to place it in between and fold. And then I'm going to start to sew. So just place it nicely on the sewing machine okay and endeavor to always check before you sew make sure you open it up and then it's properly covered before you sew so i'm going to start this way okay always don't forget to always do a back stitch at the beginning of every stitch so i'm going to continue like that open it up place your crinoline inside please ensure that you don't pull your crinoline okay do not pull your crinoline just allow it to go free okay so this is how i'm going to continue till i get to this point and then i'll show you how to navigate to this point right here so i've gotten to the edge right here i'm just going to lift up my presser fold and turn it to this direction and then i'm just going to continue like that okay don't forget open it up insert your crinoline and then you sew on it okay but you need to take your time to make sure that it comes out looking very neat so i'm going to put my presser foot down this way and then i'm going to continue okay so I'm going to continue like that this way so this is how it looks I'm going to continue till I get to the other end and I'm also going to lock the other end this way the same way I did for the first one welcome back and this is how it looks right here this is the first tip and this right here is the other tip okay and while I was sewing this I just pulled out this thread right here I pulled out the thread right here. and I'm going to use this thread here to pull this okay be careful not to allow the thread to cut and this is how I'm going to pull it till I get to the other end you can also use your hand needle and thread for this part just to do your pleats okay and just gather it all around from one end to the other but this is exactly what this rope right here is for for you to be able to gather your crinoline effortlessly so go ahead and gather this the way it is and i'm going to do that till i get to the end so this is how it looks right here can you see and i'm just i just want to show you how um i'm going along with the process okay so you don't get confused at any point so what I'm doing is I'm just pulling it gently while holding on to the long thread right here. But be careful not to pull it too hard so it doesn't cut. 
okay so this is how i'm going to continue and if you notice he's already gathering and i'm having longer thread by the side so i'm going to continue this process till i get to the end and i'll show you how it looks like when i'm done welcome back so after the end i'm going to just pull the thread from this other end right here the one thread here and the other one here and i'm going to tie them together this way and i'm going to be tying it several times before i tie my knot before i finally cut out the excess thread rather so as you can see i'm tying it and i'm not going to cut it because i'm going to leave it until i pleat and i secure with my hand sewing needle i'm still going to leave the thread as it is so i'm tying it and i'm continue i'll continue to tie till it's till the knot is big enough not to pass through the quinoline right here so i'm going to continue and then i will quickly go to my um using my hand sewing needle and my thread to just secure this hole right here <clears throat> so i have my hand sewing um, needle and thread right here and i'm just going to push it through just to this part right here okay just to do my gathers just to make sure that i pull this together and secure it so i'm going to continue that way and i'm going to keep pulling just to tighten the pleats and also pull this middle and this opening together okay so i'm going to continue like that and then i'm going to just pull the pieces together and then secure the thread and cut out the excess thread but in the meantime i'm still pleating i'm pleating this way and if you notice i'm just putting the needle to towards the edge just to the edge right here i'm not bringing it inward too much so i'm going to continue that way and until i'm able to secure and cover this hole right here i'm, I'm not going to cut the thread so go ahead and continue to pleat and then join the holes together this way okay just join the holes together this way and after you have secured it you can then tie your thread um, tie a knot and then cut your excess thread and then at this point i can go ahead and cut out the crinoline rope right here because i've secured it now i'm not going to cut out the the thread because i'm still going to be needing it for something else but in the meantime i'm going to work with my bow okay or my fabric flower and i have five pieces of my fabric right here depending on how big you want your flower to be depends on how um wide the circle will be all right welcome back like i, I was saying i have um five pieces right here and i said the circle the, the size of the circle depends on how big you want your fabric flower to be and this one right here is six and a half by six and a half that's what i'm using so in case you want to get the exact size of the fabric flower i'm making so what i'm going to do is i have my hand needle and tray another one because i didn't cut out the previous one i'm just going to fold it into um two this is fold one and this is fold two and then i'm just going to i'm going to uh tack with my needle and thread just at the tip of the fold right here the way it says and then i'm going to do the same for the other four pieces now you can make um five circles you can make six circles you can make seven depends on how full you want it to be so it's not actually a must for you to use five pieces okay and so i'm going to do the same for the other one and then i'm going to continue just to tack at the um edge right here like that till i get to the end okay so that's that about the fabric flower 
so i've done two right here as you can see i'm going to continue with the other three and then i'll show you how it looks like when i'm done okay so now that i've gotten to the end of it i ended up using six because i had one piece um, of circle left and i didn't just want to throw it away so i just included it so i have six right here and what i'm going to do is just to um close up the two edge right here this is open so i'm going to close it up by just taking my my um, needle to the part right here just one end one edge of the previous petal and then this is how it's going to look like and then at the back i can just go ahead and tie a knot okay so that's so easy to make go ahead and make yours and i'll be looking forward to seeing your practical and so this is how it looks right here you can go ahead and tack it some more just to make sure that it's not um moving up and down so i'm just going to secure it some more this way by just attaching the two edges together okay so just to make sure it's firm okay so this is how to make your fabric flower with petals okay and after this i'm just going to be basically attaching it to my fascinate um, to my crinoline ruffle that i just made right here so i'm going to tie the knots right here and then cut out my excess thread because i already have one thread attached to the crinoline or you can leave this one just in case you don't have any thread attached to your crinoline so you can use this one to continue the tacking so this is um here we are right here and this is my fabric flower and then this is my crinoline and i'm going to just tack it in you can glue with your hot glue gun but tacking is your best bet so i'm going to just tack this down okay you can determine where you want to be your upside or the downside but i chose this part right here okay so i'm going to be tacking it in just on the side right here just beside this folded part so i'm going to be putting my needle inward and then passing it out to the back through the back side okay and then passing it out again through the back side and just tucking it in so that's how i'm going to tuck this in till i get um a circle um form a circle shape right here so i'm going to continue like that don't worry my fabric my foam flower is going to cover up the tack part okay so it's not going to show so i'm going to continue to tack this and then when i'm done i will show you how it looks like when you're done i'm just going to tie my end my stitch to the back part of my crinoline okay so that's exactly what i'm going to do so this is how it looks right here now when you're attacking endeavor that you're attacking such that you don't have any um hole right here it's properly tacked okay that you're not seeing the back of the petals right here it's closed neatly so as it says i'm done tacking i'm just going to tie my knot right here and still leave my um thread because i'm still going to be tacking this piece to the headband welcome back after tacking um the the fabric flower to the crinoline ruffles okay um i have my fabric right here which i'm going to be using to make my headband and i'll be using my elastic and this is woven elastic and it's just one inch and my piece of fabric here was joined i joined it to make a straight rectangle shape but you don't have to join yours if you have enough fabric so the measurement of the length of your fabric is 26 inches right here it's 26 inches long and 5.5 inches or five and a half okay so you don't have to join if you have enough fabric just cut out 26 inches by five and half okay and the length of my elastic right here is um 18 inches 
okay this is 18 inches right here for an adult um head size but if you want to use a, a child's head size you can just use 10 or safer it depends on the um on the age of the child you can just use your elastic and wrap around the head of the child to see how comfortable you want it to be on the head before you cut out your elastic so what i'm going to do is very simple i'm just going to fold this okay this is the wrong side right now okay and i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and then i'm just going to fold it this way and then stitch but before then i'm going to mark two inches on the left hand side this way and also two inches on the right hand side okay meaning that by the time i'm trying to close up the edge i'm going to start from these two inches and end here at the other two inches and i'm going to leave this part from here to here i'm going to leave it open same for from here to here i'm going to leave it open i'm just going to do a running stitch from this point straight down to this point so this is how it looks and i just came in by quarter inch right here for my stitch okay and i'm going to turn this inside out just go ahead and turn it inside out and after i've turned it inside out i'll show you what to do next after turning it inside out as you can see right here i'm going to flip this part this open part i'm going to place them back to back this way and i will use my office pin to hold them in place before i stitch on it on the sewing machine so just go ahead and hold it in place using your office pin making sure that both sides are properly aligned so this is how it looks right here and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and then i will just sew this way with quarter inch and then i will sew it to this part so this is how it looks right here and when i stretch it this is how it's going to look like okay so as it is i'm going to insert my elastic you can use your safety pin to insert because i really cannot lay my hands on it right now so it's safer to use elastic to bring it out okay just to ensure that it comes out properly so i'm going to be using my hand just to push it to like bring it out to the other end right here okay it's easier for you to work with your safety pin if you are using a thinner fabric okay but because my hand can easily fit into this that's why i can use my hand and as it is i'll just take this to the sewing machine and just stitch on it's coming in also by quarter inch so after stitching my elastic i'm just going to let it slide into the fabric easily and then i'm going to close up the fabric this way just tuck it in then i'll use my office pin to just hold it before i stitch this inside out okay so i'm just going to use my office pin to hold it this way pull it through inside just push it push it inside this way making sure that they are equal okay just this way you can hold with your office pin you can do it on your own without holding it's also fine and i'm just going to stitch on it straight like this after stitching this is how it looks like and they've also used a matching thread i'm just using pink color on purple so you can see all the stitch okay so it can be visible enough for you to make yours okay and this is the back part right here and then this is my scrunchy headband right here now the next thing for me to do is to attach this to my um fascin to my fascinator or to my crinoline and then i just do the finishing touch 
welcome back so here is time for me to attach these two pieces together and just glue my fabric flower on top of this so but before then you need to determine where you want to be the front of your headband or the back or the side because this has a lot of visible stitches right here and covering i'm going to be placing it directly on top of this part right here just to cover it up okay and then i'm just going to attach it using my hand sewing needle as well you can go ahead and glue this part okay it's also optional to save you the stress of um tacking all the time okay but i'm going to be tacking it right here so just go ahead and tack it in and out several times in and out several times so i'm going to continue to tack in until it's solid enough for me to just um, tie a knot and cut off my excess thread okay but the way it is i'm still going to continue tacking so as soon as i'm done tacking i'm going to be having my thread showing right here which is not good enough and i'm going to be using a piece of fabric just to cover it up for neat finishing okay so i'm just going to be i'm true with the tacking and it's solid enough and i'm just going to tie my knot right here okay and just cut out the excess thread so after cutting out my thread i have my piece of wadding right here you can call it breast pad you can call it wadding or you can also use felt so i'm just going to be using this to cover up if you don't have this you can go ahead and use a circle piece of the same fabric just to cover okay it doesn't matter so as long as the thread right here is properly covered and i'm going to be using my glue just to um cover up that part the best bet is for you to use your hot glue or your can do glue it's very very effective and more efficient than you hate you okay so you can just leave this to dry a little and then cover this up okay this is how it looks i've covered it up and it's looking very nice okay i'm back to the front side and the finishing i just want to attach my flower in between right here and i'm going to use my uhu glue also just attach it right here you can also use your hot glue for this part so i'm going to attach it and then i'm just going to put it in between so I've, I've applied my glue and i'm just going to place it you know you cannot tack the rules so that's why you need to first of all do all of the tacking and the last thing or the final thing to do is just to glue your flower in between press it down and make sure that it stays perfectly and this is a crinoline fascinator and also i like to say you can also use this to embellish your scaffinator or your top band you don't need to attach the headband instead of attaching to the headband you can just attach it to your um, top band or your scaffinator i hope you have gotten value from this class go ahead drop your practicals and also our videos are not for resale if anybody's trying to sell this video to you apart from Aliot by ruby contact 081 32707348. I look forward to your practicals. Thank you for joining in. My name is Ajela once again. Bye for now.